Good morning, everybody. This is Trish and Alex doing our morning routine. Well, it's the afternoon now. This is our house, which hopefully you'll see someday. All right, here he is, off to see the chickens. This is our mobile home, which has been furloughed. We're spending loads of time in the garden, mainly pulling the summer house down, so that's been keeping us sane. I'll just give you a quick look at the pond which I've emptied and has loads of loads of frog spawn, which is good. Right, wait for me. Right, here's the chickens. Alex has got a treat for them, which is some lamb fat, which they love. They love anything meaty. Right, we're coming in. Get out of the way, you monkeys. Right. So. Yeah, hello. The one on the left is Vera, who's the, uh, re the refugee hen. She's bottom of the pecking order. The grey one is Thelma. Thelma always gets very excited when there's any corn going. And Louise is the other one, the other white one. She's very greedy and is top of the pecking order. But strangely, gets very subservient if you go anywhere near her. I'll just try and demonstrate this. Oh, she's off. She's off. If you can get anywhere near near her, that is. So they're having a little morning treat of corn. Vera's a bit worried because she's very shy because uh, she doesn't like to get anywhere near people, really. She's very clever. Anyway. So, that's it. We'll just see if there's any eggs. Let's have a look. Hang on. Any eggs today? Oh, two eggs today. That's good. Sometimes we get three egg day, but... Uh, Titty Missy at the minute. There we go. Lovely, yummy eggs. The white one is from Vera, who's the white hen. Yeah, there we go. Right, that's enough of that. <laughs> I'll just shut the coop up. Stop it. So, and then what I'll do now is I'll let them out into the raspberry patch, which, um, so we'll let Alex out first, <laughs> which they love. So, oh, I'll just shut. Yeah, hang on. Alex is demonstrating that the raspberry patch. So they love getting to the raspberry patch and trying to eat the leaves and find grubs and insects and all sorts. Anyway, they're preoccupied with uh, eating corn at the minute. While Alex is fixing the gate, I'll just show you the the summer house area, which is no more. So we spent about a week taking this summer house down, which is all rotten, uh, partly because I set it on fire by mistake one day. Um, so, it's now going to be a patio once we get Alex's brother-in-law to come and build us a pergola. So that's exciting. I'm looking forward to that sometime in the next couple of weeks when he's finished painting his house. So, um, so we have some blossom on the plum tree, which is very nice. And nothing on the tree yet. A couple of pear trees which are starting to flower. They were really good last year, so fingers crossed. So that's no good. Got some leeks left over from last year, which still seem to be growing. So I think that's about it, really. That's the excitement for today. I think we'll go for a walk now. We haven't been out of the house for 10 days, so it's a bit scary. Anyway, we might be heading down your way, so I'll give you a wave if we see you. <laughs> 